Hey guys, welcome to Safety Optional. Tonight we're working on our Jeep V8 swap project again. If you've been watching for a while, thank you for tuning back in. What we're working on is putting this 5.3 liter V8 out of a 2005 Chevrolet Tahoe into this 1987 Jeep Comanche pickup. So tonight, we're working on the electrical and fuel system for this thing. We've got a few new parts. Let me show you. So, one of the things we got, we've made a call to Detourks down in Oklahoma City and ordered a fuel pump and a fuel pressure regulator. And this is what we got, but unfortunately the documentation was incorrect and we got the wrong size fittings for it. So we might not be able to hook this thing up tonight, but we might try to rig it up just to see what we can do. Regardless, we're going to have to order some new AN fittings for this bad boy, which really, really sucks. We also got a new fuel pump from them that we're uh, in the process of adapting to work on the stock sending unit. Let's get started. So right now, Eric's modifying the unit bracketry to be able to accommodate a new pump. If we're ever going to have any hope of this thing working, we've got to go ahead and get the electrical system fed through the way it's going to operate. Then we can temporarily hook everything up. The goal is just to get this thing up and running, make sure we've got all the parts here, everything works, then we'll worry about taking it apart cleaning, painting everything, and then getting everything squared away and bungeed or zip tied or however it needs to be attached, bracketry and all that stuff figured out. But the goal first is to make it run. All right, we're gonna start hooking up the, the uh, wiring harness and terminating all the fittings. Even if we can't make this thing run tonight, we're gonna power it on and see what we need to do to make that thing work. So we're gonna go ahead and start hooking this thing all up. And there's a few wires that don't have terminations on them that we're gonna have to figure out and get terminated. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. There's a reason why we saved the old wiring harness out of the Tahoe. The plug that came on our new kit is the wrong plug for our uh, alternator. So I'm gonna get onto the wiring harness here, dig through and find the right one. We're gonna cut it off and we're gonna rig it onto the new harness. And because we labeled it, there it is right there. Transmission's connected. So we gotta cut this plug off and put it onto here. Should be pretty simple. Well, I hope that the wires figure out which one is which, because these are both gray and those are colored. We'll be able to figure it out. All right, I know some people were wondering about how we were gonna make the fuel system work on this thing. Here's what we've done. We're gonna try this and see if it works. We've adapted a Deechworks uh, DW200 fuel pump here, and it is hose clamped to a modified uh, Jeep Comanche sending unit and we've left enough clearance for the uh, float um, To actually work hopefully so we'll know our fuel level. We've got the little pickup uh, mesh uh, Screen on here the pre-filter and then the line runs up and feeds out the standard um, Supply and then we've got the return that goes down and dumps back into the tank and then just temporarily we've we've clipped up the wires here um, and run them to the stock um, wiring harness. So um, we're ready to go ahead and uh, drop this into the tank and, and uh, get it set up ready to go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and install our new modified uh, fuel sending unit. 
there's a trick to doing it in these uh, Jeep fuel tanks. You gotta have a good touch. But there's a trick to putting it inside. All right, inside there, there's a trick. You have to carefully get the little rubber cone on the bottom of the return line into a little pocket. And you can see right in there where that cone goes in to the receptacle in that little slosh pan. So you can see how the whole thing sits in there. So that's how you get your fuel uh, sending unit in there. And then once you have that done, you can go ahead and get your O-ring in position. And then go ahead and get that seated in there. All right. This fuel tank is ready to go back in the truck. I'm gonna put it in. All right, we're making some progress tonight, but uh, we're still a long way from getting this thing fired up. But let me walk you around and show you what we've gotten done. All right, up here under the hood, we've done a few things. We've gone ahead and mounted our battery cables. We still need to run a ground from here to the body, but we've got a uh, battery negative, and then we've got a battery positive that runs down to this little box from the Tahoe and ties into our new harness. And then that runs underneath the engine where it comes over here and connects in to the alternator. And then we have all of the wiring harness plugged in temporarily. And we even got a new mass airflow sensor because we accidentally threw away the one that came off the Tahoe. So up front, this thing is pretty much uh, wired up with a couple of tweaks maybe that we're gonna need. And then up here, we've also got from Deechworks an adapter to put on a uh, normal uh, hose barb type fitting onto the uh, Chevy fuel line. So that adapter's on there, which is pretty handy. And then up underneath, we've got some fuel system stuff happening. Let's take a look at that. So down underneath here, we've got the uh, fuel sending unit installed in the fuel tank, and we've got the fuel tank mounted back up in the truck and we're just now sorting out how we want to do the fuel lines and the fuel filter we're thinking maybe we're going to abandon the hard line that runs up to the front and just run flex for right now um, and then we're actually thinking now about mounting our fuel pressure regulator down under here somewhere because there's not much room underneath the hood now so we're working on that a little bit but making some progress All right, while we were here just goofing off, I went ahead and cleaned up some of the dead crappy wiring that was there um, from the original truck, just to get it out of the way. That alone is gonna help make working underneath there a bit easier. Well, another night and not a lot of progress to show for it, but we are making progress. We are planning to temporarily run this thing, get it running, troubleshoot it, and then pull the engine out detail the engine compartment, put it back in, and then finish it out and make it run, uh, run and drive. So tonight we got the wiring harness in, we got it all terminated, all plugged in. We figured out the loose ends that we needed to fix. We also got our fuel tank done with our sending unit in there, and we've got our fuel system figured out. We just need to order a lot of new parts. And so in the next week, Eric's gonna order some parts, and hopefully real soon we're back at it, getting this thing running. If you've stayed with us this far, I just want to thank you for watching. We appreciate every single view. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.